Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of the GNAT TV News Project Summer Edition. I'm Griff McClellan. Andrew McKeever is unfortunately out today. So for now, it'll just be me. So anyhow, welcome to the show. Let's get started by diving into early and absentee voting, which is now open. It opens today, June 24th. Now the primary for Vermont isn't until August 9th, however, but you can visit mvp.vermont.gov to request a ballot now. And please, remember to vote. Even though it's just a primary for the state, it may not seem important, it is. Your vote makes a huge difference and a huge impact, so please don't forget to vote. For more information on local election coverage, feel free to visit gnat-tv.org slash election coverage. While we're on the subject of politics, it was recently announced that Governor Phil Scott appointed Suzanne Young to Attorney General. Young is filling the vacancy that opened as soon as T.J. Donovan announced earlier this week on Monday that he would be stepping down from the position to pursue other opportunities. Donovan had previously served as Vermont Attorney General since 2017, up until now. And meanwhile, Suzanne Young is a former Deputy Attorney General and previously served as the Secretary of Administration under Phil Scott. On a more local note, farmers markets have been a summer spectacle of Southern Vermont, as they usually are at this time of year. They are taking place in towns such as Manchester, Arlington, Bennington, Dorset, and even Peru, just to name a few. So if these, if these farmers market events interest you, and you're near any of these local towns, go ahead and stop by and feel free to check them out. They are they're an incredible asset to local communities, so please go ahead and check them out. In addition to farmers markets, concerts are also very popular this time of year. For example, there's the Bonville Concert Series, which will be taking place throughout the next couple of weeks. There are concerts in the courtyard that take place every week in Bennington throughout this summer as well. And lastly, we have Concerts on the Green, which will be returning to the Factory Point Town Green right in the heart of Manchester as well. So please, if you're really into concerts as well as farmers markets, Vermont is the place for you, especially Southern Vermont in this incredible local community we have. For more information on these local events, feel free to visit GNAT TV's page gnat-tv.org slash events. They have an incredible calendar that lists every event that may interest you, so please feel free to check that out. Switching gears now, the Dorset Playhouse recently began hosting indoor performances again for the first time since COVID. Right now, they're airing Wait Until Dark, a play that will be airing from now until about July 9th, as well as many others throughout the summer. And while we're on the subject, the Weston Playhouse is also going to be hosting numerous plays for not only during this summer, but from now until mid-October. So from now until fall, they have a wide variety of great shows. So if any of these interest you, feel free to check out Weston and Dorset. Right now, Weston is airing Shrek the Musical, which will be taking place from now until July 10th. Moving on now to sports, Vermont Fusion Soccer has been taking place recently and their home games have been, have been held at Applejack Stadium right at Dana Thompson Rec Park in Manchester. The local team's upcoming match will be taking place this weekend against a team known as the Boston Dream, again right at Applejack Stadium. And last week they held a game as well which actually resulted in, a, in just an, in, an intramural scrimmage, if you'll say, uh, because their originally scheduled opponent had to forfeit the match just hours before kickoff. In terms of the larger scale of Vermont Fusion Soccer, I had a chance to speak with John O'Keefe last weekend at their home game, and he expressed how, how important this is to the community, but also, on a bigger scale, how diverse this league is. There are players coming in from not only the state, but from all over the country and even the world. This, this team we have in Manchester is part of the Women's Premier Soccer League, or also known as WPSL, which is the highest amateur soccer league for women in this country. 
It's the league just below the National Women's Soccer League, which is where players such as Alex Morgan, Carly Lloyd, Kristen Press all played. So it really highlights how talented these athletes are. Moving on now to COVID stats. There haven't been too many cases in Bennington County or the state recently. They've, we haven't had really any cases the past week. It's been kept under control for the most part. There was a tiny spike about a week ago, but for the most part, it's under control now that most people in, this, in the state of Vermont are vaccinated. And speaking of vaccines, children ages, or excuse me, between the ages of six months to four years are now eligible to receive COVID-19 vaccines. And that being said, everyone ages five and above are now eligible for booster shots as well. There will also be a wide variety of pride celebrations throughout the remainder of June. There will be a couple of events held throughout the state of Vermont, but most notably Dorset and Bennington. In Dorset, the Drag Queen Story Hour will be taking place this weekend at the Dorset Village Public Library. And as well as this, this weekend as well, there's also gonna be the Bennington Pride Parade and Block Party. And a final reminder, to please check out GNAT TV's website and especially its, its local events calendar. This incredible asset allows, allows viewers to check out any events happening within the next day or two, the next week, the next month, or even the next couple of months. It's all, it's all planned out right there for you, so please check it out. That's gnat-tv.org slash events. For example, a couple of notable events taking place pretty soon will be uh, a, a card game known as Canasta, which originated in Uruguay. This will be hosted at the Manchester Community Library every Monday this summer. So if that interests you, stop by the library. There will also be Yoga in the Shade taking place at the Southern Vermont Arts Center as well. And there will also be Coffee Time Tuesdays at the Wynn Hall Community Arts Center and many, many others, which I can't fit into the time frame of this show. But th again, that's why you should visit the website. It's got everything for you. That will do it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in as always. I hope you have a tremendous day and a fun weekend. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Griff McClellan.